Hi, I'm Tracy from JuiceRecipes.com, and today I'm here with my son Tony, and we're going to show you how to make a weight loss and workout juice. So if you want guns like these, this is the way to go. Now, I do want to go off on a little tiny bit of a rabbit trail before we start in on that because I get so many questions about juicing for the skin. People ask me, how do I get better skin? And years ago, Tony had a problem with his skin. It was, he was really broken out and we bought him some expensive things and for his face and it didn't help at all. So what did I tell you to do, Tony? We decided to go at it from the inside out. So first thing we did was went ahead and tried cleaning out the kidneys mm -hmm. which we used parsley because kidney is or parsley is a kidney cleaner also lemons are a good kidney cleanser yes they're an excellent diuretic and they're also good for cleaning out the liver so we started making juices that included parsley and lemons I would put it in with some carrot because carrot is also it get sort of old stale bile from the liver. So as you start to clean out the organs, then it takes out, takes the load off of the skin. So just kind of ta try tackling it from the inside out. Start with the large intestine. If you've ever seen the uh, Dr. Jensen's book, he's got a book called um, A Guide to Better Bowel Care by Dr. Bernard Jensen. And if you see people's skin and the before and afters of once they cleaned out their large intestine, it's a powerful, um, it's just really powerful for what can happen for cleaning out your skin when you start cleaning out your organs. Okay, but now before we turn the juicer on, another thing people ask me is how do you juice and not get a bunch of foam? So what I do is if I'm going to juice some spinach or some collard greens like we have here, at first I start with either some cucumber or some apple and we put that in first. So that helps cut down on the foam. So we'll go ahead and put some apple in first. Okay. And then you can go ahead and throw in some of the some of the spinach. And then we've got some great things here for muscle building and repair. So like for example, spinach. This is great for both post and pre-workout. So it's always good to put some spinach in there. It's also good for the skin and it's a great blood builder. And then cucumber contains silica, which is present in every cell of the body. It's great for the hair, the skin, and the nails. And um, so we're gonna start with that. Go ahead and throw some more apple in your tone and, and celery. So what do we put celery? Why do we put celery in there? Celery is a muscle repair vegetable because of what? Well, it's great for muscle repair it and it also contains a natural sodium, which helps balance the sugar in the apple and the orange and any carrot you may put in there. Now, we are wanting to make this a green juice, so that's why I chose not to put carrot in. That's another thing that people ask me, why does my juice look like mud? Well, when you put, a, you have a green juice, it's a, pretty much an all green juice. If you take carrot and put it in there, it's going to turn it brown. So we wanted this one to be a green juice, so we didn't we didn't put carrot in that. Because so. it's all about being cute now. It's definitely, it's all about being cute. So what do you think, Tony? Should we put that? Should we put that ginger in there? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It's got to have some kick. Yeah, this is going to give it some kick, especially this ginger, this particular. One that I bought, it's got it's hot. And then how about some lemon? Can you throw some lemon in there, Tony? Sure. To it? The whole thing? Peel and all? Peel and all. Alright. You can put the you can juice the peel of the lemon, but you don't want to juice the peel of the orange because it's gonna make your juice bitter. And it you don't want bitter juice. So years ago, Tony was my right hand juicing man. And we didn't have this sleek little upright juicer, did we, Tom? No, it was a bulky, a little bit messy. I had to use a toothbrush to clean it, some parts of it. Yeah, it was hard to clean, but it's still a great juicer, and we still have it, and I recommend it. Um, we had a green power at first, and then I switched over to the green side. They're both basically the same juicer. And um, 
So now we have the VRT. This is the 330, but I also have the 350, and I love it. It juices pretty much everything well, fruits and vegetables. The one thing that you do want to know about it, you want to throw some more celery in there, Tom? Sure. Is you got to cut the celery, or it just sort of wraps around the inside, gums it up, and then makes it so that the juice is really pulpy. And uh, how about some collard greens? Let's serve some collard greens. Sure. I'm on vacation, so mm -hmm. I don't have kale right now, and I decided, ah, we'll just make do with what we've got. We've got plenty here to make an ice cream juice. But kale is an excellent weight loss um, item, I guess, to put, that you want to put in your juice. So, Tom, what did we put in my juices that you used to make for me? Ooh, we used to put in garlic, the parsley, and I didn't have all this fancy information about how to blend flavors to make it, to make them pair up and make them taste good. I would just throw in everything I possibly could, and I was kind of a brat and would make it and try to see if she'd make disgusting faces and she, she'd wimp out because I would make it so bad. But it was healthy, of course, but it, it had a lot of garlic. We put in jalapeno so that it circulates through your blood faster. And it was pretty gnarly. Yeah. And it came out an ugly color. It wasn't pretty like this juice we have here. Yeah, look how nice this is. Look at this beautiful green color that this juice is right now. This is really pretty. But yet it still is good for you. It's not that it's bad. Um, but another thing we used to put in my juices when I was sick was um, red cabbage. Because anything red, purple, deep blue, like in, when it's fruit, like blueberries, that is a blood builder. So we did things to cleanse and build my blood and get my immune system going strong so that I, my body could heal itself. And I'll never forget, this just still gets me choked up to this day. Um, I remember we used to put 10 cloves of garlic in my juice at least every day. And Tony came by me one time and he said, oh mom, you smell like garlic. And I, I felt so embarrassed because, you know, I'm kind of a little bit of a prissy person and I like to be like ladylike and neat. And, and so I just, I was embarrassed and I didn't want to do that to my family. And I'll never forget what he said. And he said, mom, don't even worry about it. I would rather have you here smelling like garlic than dead. And when he said that, I realized what was most important and that he at a very young age realized the things that were most important and that was life it's not whether you smell like garlic it's not whether you get oil on your sheet if you're doing cast oil packs whatever it is just fight for your life and don't worry about the rest the day will come when you won't be walking around smelling like a big clothes garlic so anyway let's throw in some more apple and um, again, this is my quick trick for peeling an orange. I've talked about it in my other videos, but I cut the ends off of the orange and then I score it down this way and on this way four times. And then it just peels really beautifully. It just takes seconds to peel. It used to take me so long to peel an orange. And after a while juicing, you just learn the tricks. And before you know it, you juice in just a few minutes. I can make my 32 ounce juice for the morning and be done in inside of five minutes. So, and another thing about the orange, besides being great for the skin and low with vitamin C, is this tastes good with just about anything. It's gonna make your juice, most any juice taste better. It's got, um, it pairs well with a lot of other fruits and vegetables as well. So I think we'll stop now, even though if I was going to make one for he and I, we'd probably put all this stuff in, all the spinach, all the celery that we have cut, but just to save time, we'll go ahead and shut this off. And then here, look at this, we've got this beautiful green juice, and if you notice, there really isn't a lot of foam in it, and it makes a nice color because we didn't add anything to it that was going to turn it brown. Yeah. Oh, my favorite part. Yes. If you want to make this a fat burning juice, another thing that you can add to your juice is some cayenne pepper. Now, I buy this in bulk from the health food store because when you get it in the shaker bottle, like in the spice section, the thing to remember about that is it could be old and lose its potency, not be as effective. And it also could be burnt. 
And if it's burnt, it's not going to have all the properties in it that you want to help burn fat, increase circulation in the body. So just start out slow, maybe just do just a dab. At this point, I can put in a lot of cayenne pepper and it's not going to bother me just even a little bit because I'm pretty much addicted to cayenne pepper because I've learned so much about it, it makes me want to put it in everything. So here you go. Here is our beautiful green juice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm. Yes. How is it, Tone? I approve. <laughs> yes, all right. That is some good juice. Kid tested, mother approved. <laughs> so anyway, from all of us at juicerecipes.com, please thank you for visiting our website and for watching our video. And if you think you ever had an excuse not to make juice, she makes juice in a hotel while she's on vacation because she's a juicing spaz. But stay tuned for more videos to come, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks.